What's going on, crew? Let me know if you can see me and if you can hear me. See me, hear me? Give me a heads up. What's up, Free? What's up, Todd? How are you? What's up, Terry? Terry, hopefully it's not going to turn in. Look, it's working. How about that? How about it? I just muted I just muted the other audio so it should be better now, I think. Just make sure. Let me know. Sound better now? Good, 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 good. How's everybody doing tonight? Welcome, welcome. We're actually on YouTube. I'm gonna hop on Facebook just to keep them updated as well. Let me hop over there. Go on Facebook Live right now. Facebook Live, baby. Let's go. Facebookers, what's up crew? We're live on YouTube. You might not be able to see everything we're doing tonight. So you need to head over to YouTube because we need 500 peeps tonight. We need 500 peeps tonight. So let's get it going. Let's get it going, YouTube. Come on. Get those shares out there. Facebook, get those shares out there. Let's get going. Okay. So, here's the deal. You guys can't see here, so many of you, many of you, no, new Joseph, Joseph Poindexter, an awesome member on the TRW crew, we lost him this past, this weekend, and prayers are with Joseph and the family and the wife and everybody, so Joseph's always at the lives. He's always at the live, so Joseph's here tonight with us as well. So, each page I go to, Joe's going to be hanging out with us. Alright. Yes, very, very sorry. Just great guy, great guy, great dude. So, let's go. Alright, Facebookers, head over to YouTube. And, um, let's get this thing going. So we got a few different things. A few different things. Uh-oh. Hold on. Where are you at, Facebookers? Did I lose you guys, Facebook? Oh, no. Facebook, hold on. There you are. There you are. All right, I got you back. No, I don't want that. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, Facebook. <laughs> it's got it all crazy. Dang it. It turned me weird. All right. Facebook, I'm going to close you out and hop back on. All right. All right, crew. So we got 133 right now. So what I'm going to be doing tonight is I am going to be doing a TRW Design Wizard training, okay? Showing a bunch of different things in the wizard, kind of going through an overview of the wizard. We have a ton of new users of the wizard. But my question to all of you guys is, is how many of you have recently looked into the TRW Design Wizard, because I've had a ton of requests of this recently, and a lot of you asking if there's any way of doing the payment plan. So tonight, for the first 30 customers, we are going to do the payment plan again, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to do it. So also, to make sure that, sorry, I'm just getting the Facebook here ready. Also, to make sure that everybody is getting a deal tonight, okay? To make sure that everybody's getting a deal tonight, we are also going to do a super crazy special on some artwork packs as well and different bundle deals. Okay, almost got Facebook back up here. We want to make sure to get them here, right? 
to get more people here. Okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my screen. I'm going to show you the deals quick. Then we're going to get into then we're going to get into the design training, okay? And then I'll kind of answer some questions and go over the deals again. All right? Everybody got that? All right. Let's do it. So Facebook, I'm going to flip you guys around over here just so you can see, just in case you don't have YouTube or something. You're not going to be able to see as good, but at least you'll be able to see. Okay, Facebook? There we go. And let's get going here. So let's flip over to my screen here, and I'm going to bring over the website here real quick. So here's the deal. For By the way, how's everybody liking the new website layout? Hopefully it's easier with these big mega menus to browse around and find different things. That's the goal. So let me know. Hopefully, hopefully it's helping you guys and making it easier for you. I like the layout of it, but it's going to... It's going to be a lot easier. It's just going to be it's it's something different off the start. You're used to you're used to going to a specific spot right now, but long term long term you'll like the old one or you'll like the new one better. Long term you're going to like the new one better. Okay? So, here we go. Here we go. It's just a matter of getting used to it. I'm doing the same thing. I'm still looking around in different places because I'm so used to everything. What's up from TikTok? How are you? All right, so the deal is go to the actual artwork pack deals or the wizard deals here. So on the wizard deals, this is what we got, okay? Scroll down here. First thing we have, and this is where you're going to click if you're wanting this. The first thing we have is our in-house TRW financing. Okay? Our in-house TRW financing. So what that means is if you click here, this will actually allow you to, this is going to allow you to, get on to our three-month payment plan, okay? You can't purchase this one on the website, so we're going to take the first 30 customers for this one. First 30 customers for this one. So you're going to put your first name, last name, email address, and phone number. And then here's what the deals are, okay? So those of we didn't want to punish anybody that is already a wizard owner right because they're all already our valued customers so to get three art full artwork packs of choice three full artwork packs of choice with this bundle deal right now they're 76 dollars each that is lower than any price we've ever 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 done on artwork Okay, this is only if you want to do it. You can just purchase it outright as well. Okay, here's the deal with the three month plan. When you get artwork, you'll get one pack with your first payment. Then a month later on your second payment, you'll choose your second pack. A month later on your third payment, you'll get your third, third pack. Make sense? So the TRW Design Wizard Pro, there's no credit checks, no interest on any of this. All right. The TRW Design Wizard Pro, three payments of $189.99. That's for the Wizard. Now, if you need the Wizard and Corel Draw, Wizard and Corel Draw 2018, three payments of $273. Wizard, if you just need the Wizard and three artwork packs, and then the Wizard Corel Draw and three artwork packs. So the way it's set up right now, you're getting three artwork packs. They're only $76 each, okay? That's if you want to do that, okay? Now, most people have been saying, I just want to get it. Awesome, D. Sweet. I just want to get it. So here's what you do if you just want to get the deal. You can still do the Klarna interest-free 
financing as well. But let's just say I want three packs, right? I want three packs at $76 each. You just go to the three full artwork packs. You can see $230 and you choose whichever three you want of our 56 volumes. And it'll be an instant download and you get them all right away. 200, ding, ding, ding. Mini pack giveaway, let's go. We got two mini pack giveaways so far. Sweet daddy. All right, everybody understand that one. And then we got the wizard. We got the wizard, okay, with three artwork packs, the wizard Corel bundle. Just to let you know, wizard Corel bundle, not only do you have the option of the interest-free financing, but look at the total, everybody look at the price here. This is what I want you to focus on. Wizard and Corel 2018, $819.99, right? If you go to our software page and do software Wizard Corel 2018 bundle, it's $959. So, what kind of savings are we getting there tonight? The reason why we never discount the wizard, we're actually discounting the Corel version of it, the Corel part of it, okay? So, not only do you have the interest-free financing tonight, you also have a huge discount. $959 is your normal price, where tonight it's $819, $140 off, okay? So, two more things, and we're going to get into the training here. You guys have been asking for this for about two years. I finally got the ability to be able to do it, and super, super, super inexpensive for the amount of time it would take you to create something like this, okay? So, Anything with software or mock-up packs, the coupon codes don't work, but you actually are getting a discount on it. So, the first request we got was for the Bella Canvas shirts. The Bella Canvas 301, or 3001, the men's shirts here, okay? There is 49 different mock-ups, front and back, they automatically install into your Wizard 5.0 and they're ready to go as soon as you install them. And they will be in your drop-down menu. So, now you can show your customers the real colors of every single shirt. Got it? Now, next one... That whole pack, you get 98 different mock-ups, is $15. And then this one is the women's one. And it's the Bella Canvas Perfect Tee, the 6004. You get 38 different mock-ups in this one. You get front and back, and they'll automatically install into the wizard. And I'll show you how they work tonight, okay? And just to give you an idea of how they work, your wizard folder, they're going to automatically go to this folder right here. And if I look at the Bella Canvas men's, there's my drop down right there of every single color. Jose, you bought the Graph Tech Lite? Sweet! Did you just get the one today? The deal? Pretty sweet, isn't it? Okay, and then the last thing. Before we get going on the training right here, on the main page of the website, on the main page of the website, um, those are for the wizard right now. Because you can, you can just get the images. You can just get the images straight off of Samar's website. So what we did is we did all of the work of building it into the wizard. So you don't have to spend, even though I'm going to show you how to do it tonight, you don't have to spend two or three hours doing it. And that's a matter of two or three hours is worth $15. All right. So last thing, I'm not sure if you guys saw the new button here on the website for used equipment. These are different pieces of equipment that I've used in all of the videos. 
okay? Yes, we will be coming out with other mock-up packs as well. So, for our vinyl cutters, these are first come, first serve. We only have one of each of these. So, any of you that are looking at this, you better go get it right this second or submit your request right now. And this is a Roland GS24, brand new, a $17.95. Our warehouse unit that I use for videos is $12.75. So it's $500 off. Okay. Next one, Graphtech CE6060. Now on both of these, you will get a brand new blade and you will get a brand new cutting strip. Okay. Graphtech. $595 off. We only have one of them though. Okay. Graph Tech Lite, instead of $899, $450. And then Silhouette Portraits, we actually have two of those. Everybody got it? Sweet. All right. So I will answer questions on all of that stuff at the end of the training here. But let's go ahead. Are you guys ready for a little TRW Design Wizard overview? Let's do it. So, yes, any of you that are looking at that used equipment, we will call you tomorrow in the order that it was submitted. So, someone that just submitted, for example, right now for the Roland GS24, that is the first person we will call. If they purchase it, then it's sold. If they don't, we will move on to the next person in order. And we will do that tomorrow morning. Okay, so any of the used equipment, and you can see to submit it, you just hit submit a used equipment request. And you'll just fill out this form right here. Let us know which one you're interested in and submit it. Shipping is included with that. Yes, thank you, Derek. I didn't mention that. So within the 48 states, shipping is free on these used pieces of equipment as well. Yes, that's pretty sweet, right? You were thinking, oh, then he's going to tack on some shipping. Hey, it's over $150. Free shipping, baby. All right. Which design packs are in the offer? Whatever three you want. You get to choose from our 56 volumes. If there's anything you would take advantage of if I were you guys tonight and you have any of you that want to take advantage of something that have the wizard already, the three artwork packs at basically $76 each is better than any deal we've ever done. Black Friday, everything. Right? And everybody I think that's here can attest to that. All right, crew, let's do this. So, how many of you here are new? How many of you here are any newbies in here? first or second live with us. Let me know if it's your first or second live with us. So what I'm going to be covering tonight is mainly just the basic overviews of the wizard. We got Angie, we got Carla, we got Sacktown, we got Corey, we got Jamie, we, oh man, we got Melanie, we got a lot of newbies. I love it. Alexis and second live for Jose and Landa and Doris and Till. Tittleton and Jay and second for Mary and Carrie and Tondry and Kay and Josh and Moonlight. Oh man, this is freaking awesome. Okay. So I saw a few of you asking why some names are green. Let me just hit on that really, really quick. The reason why some of the names are green is because of this right here. So if you are a member of the YouTube channel, not a subscriber. All the videos are free, okay? If you are a member of our YouTube channel, then you get bonus designs and files and stuff like that. So, this is that join button right here. If you're an all-star member or major league member, you go to the community tab right here. You can see this week, major league members get 25% off Magic Vinyl Remover, and they get this free Rhinestone Valentine's Day design. All-Star members this week, you will get 25% off. You will get the free design. You will get the brand new, sorry, later, sorry ladies, my mom is my Valentine's Day design. 
and you will get a free rhinestone font. Got it? So all-star members, and of course you'll get the um, free premium webinar that will be coming up this week. So those are the benefits of the membership, and I'll answer questions on that later. I want to get into some designing. Let's go. So all of you on Facebook, make sure to head over to the YouTube channel, share it. We need 500 live for a Silhouette Cameo giveaway, but more importantly, you are going to learn some different cool things with the wizard. I'm going to give you an overview of everything that our software can do. And in this, let's say 45 minutes or so that I do this, hour that I do this, here's the thing. Um, you missed uh, last month. Um, Joanne, just if you missed the webinar, just give a call. Okay, just give a call. So any of you that have never seen The Wizard, in the next hour that I'm going to be doing this training here, ask questions as I go along. But what my goal is with this is just to show you how the whole point of our software is to save you time, which will make you money. But I'm also even going to show you how to create a design from scratch like that. And that's the question everybody gets. Welcome, Jose. You the man. Appreciate the support. Anytime someone joins the membership, as you can see, all the current members, everybody welcomes them to the membership. So thank you, Jose. So here we go. I'm working within CorelDRAW, and this is the TRW Design Wizard Pro. Now, let me show you something that everybody should do off the start. When you open it up, when you open the wizard up, you're going to click on the little wizard tab here in the top left. What's up, Joe? How you doing, buddy? Joe, head over to YouTube. We're all on YouTube, dude. Jackie, head over to YouTube. So, it's going to open up the wizard here for us. Now, the main thing every one of you need to do is this little tab right here. Open and close TRW Design Wizard Dockers. Click on that and go to the Live Template Editor. And that's going to... This is how I work in my wizard every day. It's just like this with the live template editor right here and the wizard right here. So, first design we're going to make. A lot of you that have been around for a while, you've seen this a lot, but the more you see it, the better you'll get at it, okay? First design I'm going to open. I just like to go straight mic drop right off the start just to get it over with, right? And you guys know what I'm about to do. Who can guess what design I'm about to do? You know what's going on. So here's the deal. All of you that are new or haven't really seen the wizard do its magic yet, okay? Check this design out. How many of you in here have ever seen or done knockout designs? And you see them everywhere now, right? You even see them in some of the Major League Baseball, football, in their team um, stores, in the college stores, everything, right? So if you haven't seen the wizard and how the wizard does knockouts, let me show you real quick. I just typed out Eagle Soccer. Maybe I want it to be Eagles Baseball. So I'll hit Find Text and I'll change that to Baseball. And it's ready to go. I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to weld the text together. This Eagle is nothing special, okay? So any vector file that you have, I'm going to drop the Eagle right on top, highlight it, Go to my Edit tab, click this button right here called the Knockout, and I'm done. There's my Knockout design. Yeah, right, Scoob? Never seen this one before. Oh, we want to cut it on our vinyl cutter? We would probably just go to Templates, hit the Vinyl Overcut, and there's our color separations with our weed box and automatically mirrored for us because the software knows you're using heat transfer vinyl. It doesn't get any easier than that. Am I correct? I am, right? So, I'm going to hit Control Z. Rosena, is it Rosena? Is I, did I pronounce that right? Appreciate the support, Rosena. Welcome to the Major League membership. So, I'm going to hit Control Z and go back a time, back a few times. And this. This is where it gets a little crazy, okay? What if I wanted to add rhinestones around this thing and I want to add some black diamond rhinestones? 
If you're using Designer Edition, if you're using Design Space, if you're using Adobe Illustrator, if you're using a lot of other softwares, other than any, honestly, if you're using any software in the world other than the wizard, you cannot do it like this. Watch this. Highlight my design, go to the Magic tab, and I want to do what we call a Stone Knockout. I click on Stone Knockout here. Watch what's going to happen. It's processing through, looking what it's going to do, and it says, you know what? There's your design. Right? How crazy is that? All the rhinestones placed in there, perfect spacing, everything. So, yes, I can show you again. Let me go back a few steps. I'm going to control Z and go back. Now, you can use any, any piece of artwork you want for that. There's nothing, I'm telling you guys, there's nothing special about that eagle that I used right there. Okay, nothing special about it. And I will show you. I'll bring in another vector image just to show you. But any school logos that you have or anything. Dante, this is the TRW Design Wizard. It's our software that works with Corel. So check it out. Highlight my design. I'm going to make it, I don't know, 9.8 inches. And let's say, let's actually go back. I'll show you how I can create a new one from scratch, okay? I'll show you how I can create a new one from scratch. So I'm going to go back to where Eagles is not welded together anymore. And we're going to call this the Rams. So it's the Rams baseball, okay? Highlight my design, weld that together, grab my Eagle. Well, we don't want an Eagle, right? Richard James, what's up, buddy? How are you? Hey, Rich, we're over on, uh, everybody on Facebook, come over to YouTube. You'll be able to see a lot better. So I'm going to click on my eagle. I'm going to go to change artwork. All right. And then let's see if I have any RAM designs on here. So I just searched RAM and I see some, oh, there we go. There's a pretty sweet RAMs design. I'm going to click on this RAMs design right here. And let's just change the color of it so you guys can see. I'm going to go maybe like a burgundy color. So there's my Ram right there, okay? Now, I, hi I have my Rams baseball. I highlight my entire design. I come over here to my stone knockout. Rams is our mascot. Look at that. Hooked you up, Debbie. And now it's going to process through, and I'm done. So that's why I like to show you this. That eagle design wasn't anything special. 300, baby, let's go. Hey, YouTube, share this. Get it everywhere. Tell everybody they're going to learn how to make t-shirts. Learn how to design for t-shirts, which is more important. Which is more important. Facebook, get over to the YouTube channel. Let's go. So, everybody see how easy that was? Now I want to show you another feature real quick that a lot of people don't know about with the knockout. Okay? And yes... The special for tonight, and I'll go through it again after the training, is the financing and interest-free payment plans for the wizard, okay? But check this out. What if I took that RAM and I go to change artwork, and I'm just going to search baseball, and I'm going to find a baseball player, okay? So this is just one of a lot of our different artwork packs. And I'm going to say I like this baseball player right here. All right. So I'm going to click on that baseball player and I want them to be red. So if I just want to do a quick knockout design because I'm going to do it for a dad, I just go to edit. I go to KO and it's done. Right. That looks sweet. Super simple. Control Z to go back. And watch this. What if I wanted this part to be bigger? Here's the issue. If I did a knockout and did KO, nobody wants a headless baseball player. Right? But we thought of that. So check this out. Now if I highlight the entire design and instead of left clicking, I right click. Now it does the knockout look, so you can still read Rams Baseball. 
but it keeps the rest of the player. So if it's a logo, if it's a baseball player, whatever it is, <laughs> I know most people laugh at the headless baseball player. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? Is that not a sweet design? And how easy was that? And that's ready to go on a shirt. Like, honestly, what if we wanted it for a women's design? Let me just show you real quick. I want to show it in some glitter. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to use black glitter. And I'm going to use red glitter. So I'm going to take those and do our red glitter here. And then I'm going to highlight my design. And I'm going to use, go to my mock-ups. And I want to do a women's burnout shirt. Oh, I have it 11 inches. Let me shrink it down a little bit. The design's a little bit too big right now. So let's bring it down to about, I don't know, 9.8 or so. And I want to do it on this women's burnout shirt. And there we go. We're done. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Now, what's really cool about it, what's really cool about it is check this out. Highlight the entire design. Click on my little money sign right here. And look what I got. 65 cents worth of red glitter, 50 cents worth of galaxy black glitter for a total of $1.14. That's pretty sweet, isn't it? So anything that you ever do, it's going to price it out for you. If you use Bootcamp, you can use it on the Mac. Yeah, Bootcamp or Parallel. Yes, glad you're feeling better, Stephanie. Good to hear. Okay. If you're not a natural designer, heck yeah. And even if you are, it's still going to save you way more time. Okay? So, let's go back a few steps and let's go into some more. Any questions on that before we roll? Before we go on to the next one? We all good? Facebook, same thing. Head on over. YouTube channel. Let's go. Um, how do you get prices you paid for a glitter and such? You're going to... So, when you get the wizard, it will start out... When you get the wizard, it'll actually start out with all of the vinyl being by the five yard rolls. But if you come right here and right click, you can see this is where you enter all of your pricing. So all of the pricing is based off of what you are actually going to pay for your materials. Because some of you might buy one yard at a time. Some of you might buy 20 yards at a time. So, yep, you're just going to right-click right there. All right? Now, let's move on to our next design. I'm going to go ahead and open here. And we are going to go now. And we're going to do a live template. Okay? So, with the live template, let me show you how easy this is. So, let's just say you have one of our artwork packs. And you want to open up one of the artwork packs. So anytime you purchase an artwork pack on our website, you're going to go to open template and whichever artwork packs you have for our full packs, they will automatically install into here. Okay. So one that I like to use a lot is out of our live templates, volume three. And I like to use this one down here. So just in this one pack, there's 150 different template layouts. Okay, I'm going to show you this, then I'm going to show you even how to create your own template, right? Even your own template. So let me click here real quick and let me zoom out for a second here, show you what's going on. All right, so someone give me their local high school and a sport. For example, like Braden River Pirates Baseball or Southeast Seminoles soccer because I want to show you and take an example from you guys to show you how you do it on the fly okay show you how you do it on the fly so I got King George Fox's baseball Becky you're on it King George Fox's baseball so here's how I would do that I'm going to hit find text and I'm going to go King George See me just typing Fox's baseball. All I did was type. This is the live templates volume three. 
when I'm done with the training, guys, I promise I'll go over all of the pricing and everything with you because we're going to have that question keep coming up and I don't want to just keep answering it every time, okay? But I'll go over all the financing deals, all the specials for tonight and everything, okay? <clears throat> but those of you who aren't designers, how easy was that, right? Now we got to go baseball, so I'm going to click on the soccer ball. I go to change artwork. Any artwork that you have, you can use, or you can use artwork that come in the pack. So what comes in that pack? All of these different clip arts come in that one pack. So I click there, and it'll take my soccer ball here, swap it out with a baseball. Now, what if I want to make that baseball a little bit bigger? And then what I'm going to want to do is I want to, I'm going to move baseball down a little bit, and I want to add rhinestones around it, okay? I want to add rhinestones around it. So first thing I need to do, if you guys can see here, I have that white line in between there. That white line is signifying the shirt showing through. Does that make sense to everybody? To, even though I'm only using two colors of heat transfer vinyl, it's going to give a three color look to the design. Make sense? So... In order to do that, here's the thing. To make it typable text like that, it's two separate fonts with contours. Be honest with me. How many of you here could easily make this a cut-ready file? Without the, without the wizard. Let's, let's clarify that. It's not easy, right, to make this a cut-ready file, to break apart the contours, Click here, shift click here, back minus front, boundary here, click here, trim here, back minus front here. All of those different things you need to do, right? Check this out. Highlight the entire design. Right over here, I'm in the bottom right corner. It's called Merge Three Color Live Text. There is nobody in here. I don't care if you are the one who... I don't care if you are the maker of Corel Draw or you are the maker of Adobe Illustrator. Even if you created those softwares, the way you're, the software is set up right now, there is nobody here that can do it this quick. And what I mean by this quick, you highlight it all, you hit merge three color live text, and it's going to process that there. So when I come up here, it is now a cut ready file. With one click, there's nobody else that can, there's nobody that can do it just in Corel or Illustrator. Maybe you can do it in two minutes, four minutes. Not like that though, right? Everybody agree? Okay, so now with the baseball, check this out. I'm going to come over here. I want black diamond stones. Guys, this is, I've shown you 2% of the software right now. You're going to be amazed at all the stuff this can do, this can do, this can do, this can do, sorry, this can do. <laughs> um, so check this out. Oh, I still want that baseball black. I want to add rhinestones around the baseball now. Okay, so I'm going to go to my black diamond stones. I'm going to click on the baseball. Now, think about with the software you're using right now, if you don't have the wizard, and if you do have it, pay attention to this. If you don't know how to do it, think about how long it would take you to add rhinestones around this baseball, but then more importantly, clear out all of these areas of vinyl because you can't layer rhinestones on top of vinyl, right? I have a video from a couple of years ago that it took me 15 minutes. Watch this. Click on the baseball. I'm going to come down here to my magic tab, and I want to do a stone outline. So if I do a stone outline and click on that, I'm done. With one click, I just added 5 to $7 to the value of this shirt. Right? I mean, just in this one design right here, I've already probably saved you 20 to 30 minutes. So imagine every design you do, if it saves you 10 minutes, 20 minutes, the, the software is going to pay for itself in no time. That's the point of it. That's the goal of it. All right. So, Q 
King George. Who threw me the King George design? What colors are they? I forgot who it was. What colors are King George foxes? And if the comments are going too quick and I don't see it, I'm going to make it up. Oh, Becky, you're killing it. You're on fire tonight. Royal and gold. We're going to make a shirt for Becky. Watch this. I'm going to click here. Select same color. Highlight it. Okay, I want all of the burgundy. And I always like to weld it together. So, Becky, because I picked you for this, I'm going to save this file and you are going to email info at the rhinestoneworld.com and you are going to get this download file for free, Becky. You got the hookup tonight. So, yeah, pretty sweet, huh? All right, so I got my design here. I want this to be glitter. So, I'm going to come over here to my glitter and I'm going to do royal blue glitter. And then gold was the other color. Select same color, weld it together, and let's do gold. And now the stones, I want those to be crystal rhinestones. So crystal stones, highlight my design. I want this as a mock-up, and I want this to go on a women's long sleeve t-shirt front. Simulate my stones, click on my t-shirt, and it's going to process through here, and I'm done. Look at how awesome that looks. And when I zoom in, you can see all of those rhinestones are made to look like rhinestones. I'm referring, yes, when I say glitter, I'm, I'm referring to using glitter heat, trans heat transfer vinyl, Melissa. Correct. Exactly, right? Now, what if you wanted to change it to a black shirt? No problem. Just come over here. Change it to a black shirt. Maybe we want that blue to be a silver glitter now. Now it's silver and gold. Come back to the original page. Highlight the entire design. And now we're going to go to our money sign. And check this out. I have 18 cents worth of rhinestones. I have 56 cents worth of royal blue glitter. And I have 49 cents in gold glitter. For a total of $1.23 on this design. So all of that pricing is going to be broken down for you. Pretty sweet, right? Any questions on that? <coughs> okay, so now what I want to show you is now we need to create an order form. So I don't just want to sell this shirt to all the women. So the reason why I love doing multi-decoration designs like this is check this out. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to change the blue to my basic Easy Weed heat transfer vinyl. Okay? And we're going to do a blue and then a gold. Let's get rid of the rhinestones because I'm not going to have rhinestones on my shirt. Highlight the design. Let's make it a little bit bigger for a men's size design, maybe a little over 10 inches. Now, resize your workspace. Watch how easy this is. Watch this. Click on this little white button. Workspace resized with one click perfectly. Now, I want to make an order form. Throw me some times out there, guys. I want you to tell me times for, give me the minutes, how many minutes or hours would it take you currently to make a two shirt order form with pricing your logo all your business information everything without the wizard how long would it take you without the wizard and then how long with the wizard? well you're gonna see how long with the wizard right a nice professional looking two shirt order form or three shirt or four shirts or front and back or anything right i'm seeing most of you 45 minutes an hour 20 to 30 minutes easily 20 minutes 20 minutes 30 seconds with the wizard 45 minutes 30 minutes an hour an hour 30 minutes okay so i want to show you what it could look like and how easy it is and those of you who already have the wizard hey Hope maybe you aren't doing this yet. Take advantage of it. This training isn't just for new people. It's for all of you wizard owners as well, right? 
So here's what I would do. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do an order form for two products. Okay? And then here's what we're going to do. I'm going to simulate the stones, and it's going to be a white shirt. So I just want to have a gray background, just so the white shirt pops a little bit more. So I'm going to click on this order form right here. And then the logo that I want is you'll enter your logo and information into the software one time and done. Okay? So I'm going to click on this two shirt order form. And let's do this. So first thing it's going to ask is what is the first product you want to do? Okay? My first product is going to be a women's long sleeve shirt. And it walks you through it. What type of product is it? It's a standard shirt. So I'll click on standard shirt. Next thing it's going to ask, it's got what product we want and what type of product it is. Now, what's the name of that product? We'll just call it women's long sleeve shirt. I could have named it whatever I want. Now, what design do you want to go on that women's long sleeve shirt? I want the glitter and rhinestone one. So I just highlight it and I hit OK. Debbie, see that? Look at that. I'm going to charge $35 for this shirt, so I'll click OK. What's product number two? Because we're doing a two-shirt order form. Product number two is going to be a men's long sleeve shirt. See how it just walks you right along? What type? It's a standard shirt. So we got men and women's. We got standard shirt on both. Now it's going to say, what do you want to name this shirt? We'll just call it men's long sleeve. What design do I want to go on the men's long sleeve? I want this one right here. So I hit OK. And I'm going to charge 25 bucks for this one. And I click OK. It's going to process through for me now. And then what it's going to do for us, because we've already entered that information, there's our order form ready to go. Check that out, guys. Let me move this out of here and zoom in for you. So there's your professional looking order form that... It, has, it automatically populates all of your business information here, right? It automatically puts your logo there. Over here, you get to enter a very cool and catchy shirt sale name. There's your business address. There's my women's shirt with the rhinestones for $35. There's my men's shirt without rhinestones for $25. And then how they're going to pay, their information, everything at the bottom. Yes, your pricing, when you figure out pricing, yes, it accounts for the weed box and a quarter inch margin of waste, sweet love. Yes, it does. Okay? Pretty sweet, isn't it? And I could do this for one shirt, two shirts, three shirts, four shirts. I can do this for one heat transfer vinyl shirt. I could do it for an embroidered jacket, a um, mouse pad, and a mug if I want. And I could have four completely different items on there as well. So, real quick, one thing we need to do is everybody that's here needs to click that like button. Everybody that's here on YouTube needs to click that like button real quick. Because we got a hundred more people than we do likes. So let's go. Click it up, baby. All right. So how do you send it? Very easy. You just highlight it. I'm going to go over here to my export tab. And name it whatever you want. Export it as a PNG. Export it as a JPEG. Export it as whatever you want. And then you can just email it to your customer. And it's ready to go. Everybody got it? We're good to go. Move on to the next one. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? And to make an order form. And to do your color separations and everything. Right? Okay. Do you guys want me to show you how I would create a live template from scratch in the wizard? It's up to you. You let me know. Or I can move on to the next one with the fonts. I'm talking from scratch, but obviously using features in the wizard. All right. I see all yeses. Let's do it. So check this out. I am going to do this one for 
the Southie Seminoles baseball. Okay, that's where I went to high school. So check this out here, guys. You're, you're, this is going to be freaking amazing for you guys. So I'm going to type out Southeast. And let's go ahead. I'm just going to use a basic impact font. Nothing special. So here's here. I want to show you what I see a lot of people do first. Okay. I have Southeast here. And then I'm going to go... Seminoles, and I actually see a lot of people that will just take text, they'll do it like this, and they will put something on a shirt and call it a day. And they'll say, this is my design. That's miserable. Don't do that. Don't be that guy or girl, right? Check out how easy this is. Every one of you can be designers now. Okay, so I got Seminoles here. I'm going to make that a little bit taller. I'm going to go to my text effects tab. This tab's freaking awesome. And I want to make a three color live text. And I want my text to be angled like this right here. And then I'm going to click apply. And that's done. Okay. We still got more to do, but just to show you, that's done so far. So, what's really cool about this, and I'll show it to you all at the same time, actually. Okay, so hold on. Now, I'm going to go text again here, and I got to get southeast. So, I'm going to type out southeast. I'm going to go into a impact font. This time, I just want it to be a one color live text. And I want it to be at that same angle and hit apply. And I'm going to drop that right here. I'm going to duplicate this. Bring this down here. I'm going to hit show all, find text. And I'm going to take that southeast and say baseball. Everybody see where I'm going with this? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to add artwork. I'm going to bring in a baseball player from my clip art. I'm Here's the thing. Most other companies get mad when I do this because they're like, why are you showing them how to create templates? Because I want you guys to be creative and I want you to use the software for the way it's intended. Yes, we have a bunch of artwork packs that are going to save you a boatload of time. Yes, they are. But the goal is, is for you guys to be able to get creative and make your own stuff as well, right? So how about this baseball batter right here? This is one of our sweet ones. So I'm going to take this baseball batter here. I'm going to just drop it onto the graphic. I'm going to move it up a little bit. And I'm going to say I like that right there, okay? But I don't want it going into my southeast part. So let's maybe make that. A tiny bit smaller I would say that looks good right there and now I don't want it to take up see how it's into a, my eye and my in a lot so I'm gonna take it away a little bit more and then we'll go southeast a little bit bigger so I still have an issue here okay because I have this overlapping here a little bit and then this overlapping that and I have a three color live text so let's fix the three color live text thing first Highlight it all, merge three color live text, that's fixed. So that's a cut ready file. Now for the baseball player here, this is a different tool that a lot of you may not have seen before or know about. I want to trim this, okay? I'm going to use my magic boundary down here. But the problem is, and I'll do it just so you can see, the problem is, is when I remove shapes behind, all right, and I hit magic boundary, this is what's going to happen. See how it took out part of my E there? I didn't want that to happen. So here's what I would do to fix that. I would take that baseball player, okay? I'm going to come up here to my knife tool. And then with my knife tool, I'm going to cut this design. So I just cut it. 
and I'm going to get rid of that bottom part. Everybody see what I just did? Now, when I do my magic boundary, it doesn't cut into that at all. It gives me a nice little spacing there, and I'm done with this design. Now, who thinks that they could sell this design on a t-shirt? I'm thinking most of you, right? Because I, I damn sure know I could. Is that not sweet? Now, I highlight it all. I change, I resize my workspace. I say I want this to go on a men's t-shirt. So let's go about 10.5 inches, 10.6 inches or so. I come over to my mock-ups and I want this to go on to a men's t-shirt front. Don't need to simulate stones. And there it is on my shirt. You say, oh man, I want it up a little bit more. You can easily move it up a little bit more. Right? Pretty freaking easy, isn't it? I just showed you guys how to make templates. And the cool thing about it is once you create it as a template, as long as you don't do, okay, as long as you don't do that uh, magic boundary. So let me show you. Let me go back. So if you want to save this as a template to always use for different schools and stuff, make sure that you don't do the merge three color live text part yet. And I'll show you why. Had I not done the merge three color live text, I could come over here and I could change this to Braden River Pirates. And now I have a brand new school from the same template. So once you create that template, the wizard is doing all of that work to create them into perfect envelopes to make them stupid simple for you guys. So I would save this file as a CDR file and now I have that template forever. But then people say, well, I don't want it to be baseball. Who cares? Click on this baseball player right here Go to change artwork, right? I want it to be a football player. Type in football. If you have football clip art, and I want to use a different one here. Let's use this quarterback here. So I'm going to grab this quarterback, swap them out, and I would do the exact same thing. And now I have a football design. Oh, you need to change it to football. There we go. Marching band, no problem. That's the thing. Once you have the template layout, now it's just a matter of swapping stuff. And again, maybe I say, okay, I want the Braden River to be a little bit bigger. I grab my football player, grab my knife tap, my knife tool, and I trim him right there. So now it's not cutting into my wording there at all. And I'm good to go. How easy is that? And you can use this for sublimation, for screen printing, for direct to garment, for everything else as well. Okay? All right, everybody good with that? Sweet? All right, let's go. Move on. Moving on. All right. A lot of you ask questions about the... Um, this program works with anything, Melissa. It works with anything. So just think of it this way. When people say, will it work with a cameo? Will it work with a sublimation? Will it work with this? Our software is your designing tool. Once you create your design, now you just need to export it or send it in whatever file type you want. Okay? So it will work with anything. This is just your tool for making your designs, figuring out your pricing and all of that stuff. Okay. Um, what step to make ready for the cutter? I'm going to show you, Marie. I'm going to show you on this one here. Well, actually, let me do the font one real quick. So a lot of people ask about the really popular girl boss design. Let me show you that real quick. 
just to show you how easy this is. And it's actually in a pack now, and I'll show you guys the pack at the end. But the twirly font, a lot of you own this one, I'm sure. This twirly font, all I do is I type girl, boss, I hit the left parentheses, and I'm done. That design is pretty much ready to go now. I want to throw that onto a shirt. I can say, okay, I want it to be 9.8 inches. Like that was, this is just a font. We create crazy fonts that make it super simple. So I take that, I weld it together. I go to my women's shirt. I'm going to go to, let's find women's and women's burnout front. I click on that and there's my girl boss design on my women's shirt. That's that easy. That's how simple it is because that's a specific type of font. So what the font has and the reason why I was able to do that is the font actually has all of, there's the explanation point, there's the at sign, there's the number sign. All of those elements are built into the font. So all you'd have to do is type. It's crazy, right? And we have many other fonts like this. Just to give you another example, I got um, the, give me, someone give me a um, mascot team name. Mascot team name, hook me up. I got the Falcons, first one. Derek hooked it up with the Falcons. I got Falcons, okay? So with Falcons here, I'm gonna use another font and let's use maybe our stadium font. So there's Falcons, that's our script font, but look what we do with our script font. The explanation point is that tail. The at sign is that tail, number sign that tail. Money sign, percentage sign, at sign, parentheses, left parentheses. So if I wanted Falcons baseball, there we go. What I would do, if, you're, if your mascot name's a little bit shorter, just hit B for break apart, okay? Highlight the Falcons part of your design, enlarge that, and then just move it over a tiny bit. Everybody see what I did there? And now I have, and here's what's really cool. This is what I love about this one, guys. Check this out. So I got that there, right? And now what I would do, because it's a script font, I'm going to weld it together. Then with that same font, I want to customize it. So let's say the softball player or the baseball player is number 23. So I'm going to drop that right underneath here. Highlight the entire design. Let's weld it together. I'm going to make it in a white we're just going to say that's going to be a white sign vinyl. Let's switch it to 3 inches, 3.6 by 7 inches. Go to our TRW mock-ups. And our mock-up this time is going to be a car window decal. Click on the car window. And there it is on the back window of a car. How easy was that? I just made a vinyl car window decal. I can sell it for $6 to $10. And I have a mock-up ready to go for them. It's crazy. Crazy, right? So, and that's it. And we have a ton of videos, obviously, showing you how to do it. And we do lives like this. So, definitely. All right. Here we go. Let's go on to the next one. You guys ready? Next one we have. I love this design and I showed this. I didn't even show this one in the class this weekend at the trade show because we got so crazy. So some fonts we have that are pretty awesome are our true type font pack volume 10. Okay. So what this was, I'm going to show you one of our most popular selling designs when I was doing the finished product. Okay. Some of our most popular selling designs. And this was our most popular selling shirt. I got LRHS, which is for Lakewood Ranch High School. I'm going to use 
my football KO laces font. See how it just has the football laces? All I did was type and it's ready to go. Okay, now with this, to make this two colors, all I do is I come up here and I click on the two and now it's a two color design. I'm done, it's ready to go, right? Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna use a collegiate type font and it's gonna be, um, maybe it's cheerleading because it's football cheerleading. So let's go cheerleading and let's do more of a collegiate font. Let's use maybe a college black and check this out. I'm gonna take this here. I'm gonna just arrange it underneath here drag it over to the other side and I want to make it a little bit taller so let's go to there and that almost takes away a little bit so I'm going to make it actually a little bit smaller I'm going to hit my text spacing and drag this over so it looks nicer good now we want to customize this okay so we could do cheerleading mom, football mom, whatever we want, okay? So we're going to say this is cheerleading mom of Madison. And we'll do that same college black font. Let's make it a little bit taller again. Now what we did is we just added value to this shirt because we customized it, right? And maybe we only go halfway on the mom of Madison, and we can move it down a tiny bit. Now let's get our colors going. So first thing I like to do is convert it to curves. And they are green and black. And we're going to put on a white shirt. So I'm going to take this and this. And this is going to be our, our inside area. And this is going to be our green. So let's come over here to our green glitter heat transfer vinyl. So we got glitter and we got our green glitter. And there we go. And then this and this weld together. That's going to be my black glitter. Highlight my design. I'm at 10 inches. Let's get it down to about maybe 9.8, 9.9. Come over to my mock-ups. I'm going to go women's. And I'm going to go women's burnout t-shirt front. Click on that. And we have ourselves a finished design. All with that font. So that one pack, I think it has 23 different sports and different fonts for stuff like that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? <clears throat> we have it for girls basketball. We have it for softball. We have it for baseball. We have it for tennis and volleyball and music and all types of stuff. We have a band one, yes. Pretty cool, right? Now here's what I want to show you that most people, most people don't use this for. Okay, and I'm going to show you how easy it is. So I'm going to do the Lady Knights. And I'm going to do a large K here. And we are going to do Lady Basketball Player. So I'm going to hit the two for two color. There's my big K there. Okay, now we're going to get this K out to maybe about eight inches or so. That's a pretty good size. And... Let's go ahead and get this design going now. So what I want to do is they are, let's say, black and gold. So I'm going to choose off the start. I'm just going to grab some of my easy weed here. And I'm going to go gold and black. Now, I want Lady Knights to go through this. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go Lady Knights. And I'm going to use a pretty cool font that I got for free on Google Fonts. So if you don't get stuff on Google Fonts yet, go to Google Fonts and take advantage of these. They got some cool fonts and they are, um, you can use them for commercial use as well. So this Lady Knights design, I'm gonna pull up here and I'm gonna make that in like a grayish color. So when you look at this design right now, the way that it is, is this a good looking design right now? Let me know. That's about 9.5 inches wide. What do you think? Is that nice looking? 
Be honest with me. You're not going to hurt my feelings. It's not, right? Check out Defonce too, but the problem with Defonce, Carla, is most of them are only for personal use. Google Fonts, it's commercial use. That's the big difference. All right, now I'm going to show you how awesome this is. Check this out, guys, and watch how much better this design is going to look. Lady Nights, right? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the envelope tool inside of Corel here. So I'm going to come up here to the top, open my envelope docker. I'm going to do a single arc, add new, and I'm just going to hold control and drag this up. Or I could hold shift and go the other way. Okay? few different ways we can do this. Right? So let me show you. I'll go back. We'll do it again. So let me go back here. I'm going to go add new. If I just drag this, it's just going to drag the top up. If I hold control, it's going to drag both of them up. I'm just adding a little bit of an arc to this. Nothing special. And let's go ahead and move that down a tiny bit. Now, because it's a script font, remember, all of that's overlapping. So I need to weld it together. Now all of that's fixed, right? That was a simple fix. Now I need to get that knocked out of my design. Remember that tool we used before called the Magic Boundary? I want to create a contour and remove the shapes behind from Lady Knights. So when I come over here and click on Magic Boundary, it's going to process through this here, and it's done. Pretty sweet, isn't it? Now we can come in here and say, okay, I want Caesar Glitter. And I want this to be black glitter. I want this to be gold glitter. And I want this to be one of my favorite colors, black silver glitter. Does this design look a little bit better? Now, who can tell me, if you've been to a trade show class and you saw me do this design, you'll probably know. Who can tell me how I can add $5 to the value of this shirt? $5 to the value of this shirt without spending one penny more in material. How can I do it? Without spending one penny more in material, don't just say personalized because if I put a number underneath here or a name underneath here, I'm using more vinyl, right? How can I add value? There you go. The bottom right corner of the K. Check this out, guys. Let's say they're number 23. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to use that collegiate font. And I got that collegiate font there. Let's go ahead and enlarge it a little bit. Let's throw it right up here. Now, I don't want to just make it gold because if I did that, that's not going to look good and I can't layer it, right? So what I want to do is I'm going to take the 23 here and I'm going to come down to my magic boundary. Same tool we just used a minute ago. I'm going to do a 0 0.04 magic boundary. It knocks it out. And then I'm going to turn this into my gold glitter. And check that out. That's pretty cool, isn't it? What do you guys think, Facebook? Pretty sweet, isn't it? Facebook, you guys better be over on YouTube. We need to get going. We got 344. Hey, guys. Does everybody want to take a 30-second break and tell me tell you a trick on how we have a possibility of winning a Cameo 4? Because we're only at 340. Here's the trick. You guys that are here, sign on right now on multiple devices. I, believe me, I want to give away the Cameo. But you guys know the way I am. You know the way I am. If we don't hit the number... I'm not a fan of 14th place trophies. So if you sign on on multiple accounts, have your husband sign on or your daughter or your, or your wife or your son, right? Get on multiple devices. It'll show that there's more people here. All, all that matters is hitting that 500 number. So if you have multiple devices or get a friend, get them to sign on for a little bit and let's do it. I want to give away that cameo for, but we have to hit the number to do it. Okay. All right. Everybody good with this design? So 
real quickly, one more thing with this design, because the question earlier was, how do I get this cut ready now? You know how easy it is to get this design cut ready? Go to templates, right click on the vinyl overcut, okay? Right click on vinyl overcut, and there's my color separations ready to go. Boom. That's how easy it is. So that's where you're just picking which ones you want it to go on and what colors you want to cut for each. Back to page one, and there's our original design. Now, I know a lot of you didn't see this, so I will show you guys, but one of the mock-up, we, we released two new Bella Canvas mock-up packs tonight, okay? And one of them's $10, one of them's $15. I'll show you what this mock-up looks like. So watch, if I go to mock-ups, I already installed the Bella Canvas 6004. So there's my front, and look at all of these shirts in here now. And you can see all the previews and everything. So let's just say I wanted to put this onto a um, asphalt. No, that's a little bit too dark. Let's do a silver shirt. So good there, come over here, click on my silver shirt. And there it is. And you can see how clean looking this Bella shirt is too. And then they say, you know what? That doesn't look great. I want to see what it looks like on the white shirt. You can change it to the white shirt. So these are the real images of the Bella shirts. So all of them are in there. Right? Look at how big the men's pack is. This is crazy. It's the front and back of each of them too. Look at, you have to scroll to get through all of the colors. There's 49 different colors and 98 different mock-ups within this one $15 pack. So if they wanted to see what it looked like on the natural color, there's the natural. So I'll highlight my design, click on that, and there it is on the natural. That's pretty sweet. You guys have been asking for these for years. I just had to get permission from Sanmar to be able to do them. All right. Good with that design? You guys ready for the next one? 389. We just went up about 60 people on YouTube. Let's go. 108 to go. Come on. We can do it. Share, share, get people here. All right. The men's are the same as the unisex base. Yes. All right. So check this out. Everybody go with that design. Fine. Perfect. Awesome. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this on this design real quick. <clears throat> what? Everybody tell me, what would you sell this design for? On a basic $3 shirt. What would you sell this three color glitter design for on a basic $3 shirt? Everybody tell me, because I want to go off of your pricing. And not necessarily what could you sell, because I know every area is different, right? What my goal is, I'm going to take basically the lowest feasible price that I see. And I want to show you what 400, bam, let's go. Only 100 more and we got four mini pack giveaways. All right, so I see most, most of you, okay. The lowest price I saw, the lowest price I saw was $19.95, okay? So I want to show you if you could make money on this design. If you, okay, even better, $15, perfect. $15 is perfect. Let's do it. So I don't know who it was. I just saw 15 pop up. But whoever said $15, let's see if you sold this for $15, right? What you would make. Okay. First thing I want to do is I'm going to base it off of, let's come over here to my Caesar glitter and I'm going to do 20 inch with 15 feet for $65. That's about what vinyl's costing at almost every place. Okay. So I just updated my vinyl pricing. It's that easy to update it, okay? Now what I'm gonna do, we're at 420. Let's go, guys. 
Let's go. 500. Come on. Let's give away this cameo. So, check this out. This is probably my favorite feature by far in The Wizard because it helps people make money. And it makes sure that you are not underpricing your shirts. So check this out. Highlight the entire design. Up here in the money sign, I'm going to right click it. That is Joseph in the photo. Yes, it is. Joseph is here with us tonight. Joe's always at the lives and he's here as well. Tonight is a Joseph Poindexter live tribute. So check this out. Go to basic, all right? And it's going to start asking you questions, all right? What did you charge for the setup and design fee, okay? This is pretty easy. Let's say we didn't charge them anything. The retail price of the shirt, I'm going to say 15 bucks, all right? Now, what percent discount? I'm going to give them a 10% discount. We're going to put it on a Bella Canvas shirt. I said $3, so let's go $3. And then the hourly rate of the production employee. Let's just say they're making $12.50 an hour. Got it? How many minutes to produce each of them? We're going to make 25 of them, but how many to produce one of them? We got to cut the gold. We got to cut the black. We got to cut the silver. We got to weed the gold. We got to weed the black. We got to weed the silver. Then we got to press the gold. We got to press the black. We got to press the silver. Right? So, um, Russell, because the next one is six months is when it jumps to the next one. All right? So, how long do you think it would take you to make this shirt? Three colors. Give me realist. But remember... You're going to save a little bit of time because you're going to be able to cut 25 of them at a time. Does that make sense? Because we're going to be able to cut 25 of them at a time, that's going to save you time. That's why we give them a bulk discount. So I'm going to say, I see most of you now that I said that are saying about 20 minutes. Let's go with that. I think you can do it quicker, but let's go with 20 minutes. So I'm going to say 20 minutes to produce. The total quantity being produced is 25. Now, what's your total overhead cost per month? Do me a favor. Say yes or no. That's all I'm looking for. How many of you here actually calculate your cost, your overhead cost for your business on every item you create. I'm going to say 99% of you are going to say no. Unless you've been using the wizard. I never did. Your overhead cost per shirt. Right? So I see a lot of you that are saying no. Okay. And a lot of you that are saying yes. Because you've probably been using the wizard on it. I never did. And I know it was something that really hurt my business. Right? So, check this out. Total overhead cost per month. You're working out of the house. Let's say you got $200. Your, your, your um, electric went up a little bit. You sped up your internet a little bit and so on. 453. Let's go, baby. 43 more. 457. And how many products on average do you produce a month? Maybe you're a big, I was a big decal guy and I made a ton of decals. So let's just say when I was just getting going in the decals, I was making 200 a month. Let's say 250. So when I hit price here, check this out. Hit price is going to process through for me here. And what it's looking for is all the information I just inputted. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill out the customer's information here. This is going to go on to a white shirt. So I'll just make it a white shirt. I want to add our TRW logo and I want an internal and a customer pricing breakdown. So when I click on create printable pricing breakdown, check this out, guys. This is so freaking awesome. And we're at 464. Let's go, baby. Come on. Let's do it. This is my customer pricing breakdown. I print this out and give it to them. 
So there's their order number, their name, their order date, their order due date. There's the design. There's all of their information. Down here, it's going to show them what's the size of the design, what colors of heat transfer vinyl you're using, what size it is, if there's any rhinestones, and then it's also going to break down all of their pricing for them. $15 of shirt, 25 shirts, 10% discount, we're charging $13.50. Your total order price is $3.37. It's going to take, just to let you guys know, it's going to take this one employee a lot of time to do this job, but the customer signs off on it right here, approving everything. So that's for the customer. Now, it also calculated an internal pricing sheet for you. Now, this is where we're looking at it and saying, oh boy, right? So if we were to charge $15, believe me, I made these mistakes when I started my business because I didn't know what everything was price-wise. So $12.50 an hour employee, 20 minutes to produce, four seventeen dollars just in employee wages per shirt. 80 cents in overhead cost, so my cost is $10.98 per shirt. I'm selling them for $13.50. It's going to take that employee eight hours to do these shirts because it's taking so long to make them. I'm going to charge the customer $3.37. My business cost is $2.74. That means I'm only making $62 on this job or $7.56 an hour. I'm making min I'm making below minimum wage. Right? But that's why I always like to show this cuz it doesn't mean that it's bad like it's bad, yes, but if you are charging $15 or $20, well, you could get away with 20 probably. But 15, you can't do that. This is a custom shirt. Don't be Walmart and Target, right? That's the whole point. They can't get this at Walmart and Target. Charge for your customization, right? You have to charge for your customization. So here's what I would do. We're at 462. Come on. We're at 462. Facebook, come over to YouTube. Bring your friends. Sign on to multiple devices. We only need to get to 500 for one second, all right? Now, let me do this again for you guys, okay? Most of you were saying about $25 to charge. Highlight the design. Right click on my money sign. I don't have to refill all of this. It saves it for me. Okay. And I'm going to charge $25 this time. I'm going to click price. $470. Come on, $30 more. It's going to process through for me here. I'm going to have all of their information here. I'm going to change it to my white background so it looks good. I'm going to use my TRW logo, and I'm going to create my printable pricing breakdown. Marquita, welcome to the All-Star membership. Get all of your free stuff. And check this out now, guys. Now when I go to my internal pricing, which is this one, everything's going to look a whole lot nicer. Even at only $25 for this shirt, which I would charge probably $30. But... At $25, my business is now going to make $287 on this job or $34 per hour. And remember that $34 an hour is after all of your business expenses, right? It's after all of your business expenses. So that's what your business is actually going to make. Got it? All right. Any questions on that? Good to go? Sweet. So let me go ahead and close this one real quick. Now I want to show you guys real quick how you can add mock-ups to the software. Okay? Real quick, how you can add mock-ups to the software. And this is super simple. This is going to be a three to five minute part right here. So if I were to go to, let's say, Sanmar's website, or we're at 475, let's go. Facebook, are all of you guys on YouTube? Facebook, Facebook, if you're not on YouTube, get over to YouTube. We need 25 more, and we will have a Silhouette Cameo giveaway. So Heather, Valerie, Nadine, Steve, 
Belinda, Michael, all of you guys, head over to YouTube. So check this out, mock-up creator, and I want to add a white shirt. So let's just say I went and pulled this white shirt off of a website. And it, you can see this white shirt isn't anything special right now, okay? So when I go to the back, it's got a white box around it. When I zoom in, you can see it's all pixelated. Doesn't look great. We only need 20 more. Let's go. So I'm going to take this shirt. I'm going to go to the mock-up creator. This one tab alone in the software, just to let you know, this one tab alone is softwares that cost three to four hundred dollars and this is one tab in our software so click on this i'm going to create an auto boundary it, what it's going to do is it's going to process through for me it just drew a boundary around that jpeg perfectly highlight my design i'm going to cut out color change mock-up okay so i've clicked on two buttons so far two buttons so far so with two buttons, we need 19 more. 19 more. Let's go. Share, share, 19 more. All right. It doesn't look like anything's really different, right? But check this out. When I put that black box behind it again, watch what's going to happen. See that? It trimmed it out perfect. Now I can also change the color of the shirt to whatever I want. We just made it a color changing shirt. How sweet is that? Now I want to put this into the software. So I'm going to go to add products. I want it to be, let's say 11 inches, create design placement. This box is going to be from left to right is 11 inches. So I want it to go right there on the shirt, highlight it all, come over here to my men's. And we are going to save this as live t-shirt, save custom product. So now that I just saved that custom product as live t-shirt under the men's folder, when I have a design, so let me go in here, fine, let's see, did I already, okay, let me just open the design quick so I can show you how it works. Oh no, we're losing. We're back to 25. Why are we losing numbers? What's going on? We can't be losing numbers. Let's go. 469. We're, we were getting so close. So here we go. I'm going to take this design here, the Just Married. Open it up real quick. Teachers are going to bed. <laughs> oh, man, that's in a newer version of Corel. Let me find one that I can open here. I'm using CorelDRAW X8, yes. Let's see if this one is in a X8 version. Oh, dang it. Come on, I need a file real quick. Boom, 486. We're almost there. Come on, guys. 486. And let me find a file where I can put this on. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Here, we got my turn two design. Around the horn. So if I want this turn two design to go onto the shirt, I enlarge this. Let's get it to eight inches or so. Respace. I go to mockups. I go down here to men's and under men's, I have live t-shirt front and there it is. We're good to go. 493, seven more, 495. Sign on, sign on, sign on. 491. Damn it. Let's go. Come on. We got up to 495. Come on. 488? What the hell's going on? Facebook. We only need 10 of you, Facebook. Get over there. Four ninety-three again. 498? Come on, 496. No, we don't want you on Facebook. 500. I just saw it. I just saw it for one second. That's all that matters, baby. We did it. We did it. Yes, we did it. 
All right, we're good to go. That's what I'm talking about. 500, baby. Someone's winning a Silhouette Cameo 4 tonight. Someone is winning a Silhouette Cameo 4 tonight. And we got five mini pack giveaways now. Okay, so what I showed you tonight was literally 15% of the software. 15% of the software. It's crazy. I could I could do a, a five-hour training and I wouldn't be able to go through everything that the software can do, okay? So, let me go over the deals quick for tonight and then we will get in to our giveaway, okay? So, with these deals for tonight, these are the biggest deals and best deals we have ever done on the software better than black friday anything because we never discount the software but what we did discount is the corral draw but more importantly what we did is we gave you guys access for today and tomorrow only to the three month interest free financing okay so here's what the actual deals are Okay, if you want the three, if you just want to pay for, because remember, you're getting specials as well. Let me just show you. The, the actual Wizard Corral bundles are discounted tonight and tomorrow. All right, so the Corral Draw 2018 and TRW Design Wizard Pro, $959. That's on the regular website part. If you go into the sale part, Corel Draw 2018 and the Wizard is $819. It's $140 off right now because we discounted the Corel side of it. So it's $140 off today and tomorrow. And then it'll go back, it'll go back after tomorrow to the $959 price. Alright? Plus, you can do three-month interest-free financing. You can do Kalarna financing where you pay four interest-free payments for $204 each time, or you could just pay for it outright. You have three different options during this deal, okay? If you want the in-house TRW financing, you just click on that button right there, fill out this form, and we are only doing this financing for the first 30 customers. For the first 30 customers only for this financing. So you just pick which one you're looking to do. Okay? Now, the other deals. If you are currently already a wizard owner, the three full artwork packs of choice, $230. It's basically $76 a pack. Okay? So $76 a pack is less than Black Friday deals. Less than Black Friday deals. So, you can do it through the interest-free financing. You can click here, completely up to you. And then you just choose your three artwork packs right here. Now, if you wanna see what's in the artwork packs, just go to designs and full packs. And then when you go to designs and full packs, you will see all of the full artwork packs right here. All right. Everybody good with that. So again, even at 65% off, the artwork packs are normally around 110 to $125 per pack. With this deal, you're looking at about $76 per pack, but it's only tonight and tomorrow, okay? Other deals we have for tonight is if you just need the wizard and you already have Corel, you can get the wizard and three artwork packs of choice for $7.99. Again, you can do interest-free as well. And then this is the wizard Corel bundle with three artwork packs that you can do the you can, any of them, you can do the three-month in-house financing. Got it? And then the only other thing new for tonight 
and then I'll, I'll answer more questions at the end. I want to give away the cameos or the cameo in the, in the artwork packs. But the only other new thing for tonight is we just released a craft pack. This is the craft pack right here. You're going to use the coupon code right above me, TRW Release 65, and it'll take 65% off this pack right here. All right. And then the Bella Canvas shirt packs. The 65% off doesn't work on these but they're already marked off $5. And you'll see these right on the main page. This is the 3001, this is the 6004 pack. So this one has 98 mockups, this one has 38 mockups. These will go up to $20 and $15 after tomorrow. Got it? All right, so like I said, I will stay on after I will stay on after and answer questions about any of the deals, but let me get going with the random YouTube comment picker. Okay. I'm going to see if this is going to work for us here. Let's go here and here. So we need five mini packs that we're giving away and then one silhouette cameo for that we're giving away. By the way, does everybody here know about the Ask Mats? We're on the YouTube channel right here. I'm back and doing the Ask Mats again. Make sure to go comment on these videos and leave me questions, okay? I'm doing 100 straight days of content for you guys and answering questions. So... Subscribe to the YouTube channel, click the bell, go check out the Ask Mats. I put them up every single day for 100 days. We're on, I think, number 14 for this round already. It's been two weeks already of Ask Mats. But let's get going with this. I need to grab this link here, and I need to put it over into our random comment picker here. And let's see if this is going to pull it up for us. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I wanted to be able to do it on YouTube, but I don't know if it's going to let me. Because it's saying the comments are disabled. Oh, it's because we're live. Okay, so we're going to have to play scroll method. I thought we were going to be able to use this, but we can't. So we're going to have to play the scroll game. Which means on the scroll game, you guys know the rules. No spamming. I can't see your name more than three times, right? Can't see your name more than three times or else it's not going to count. So let's bring the comments over. Let's get some giveaways going. If you're on Facebook, you can't win over unless you're over on the YouTube channel. All right. Facebook, I got to sign off from you because I got to take pictures of the winners. So Facebook, I'll see you over on YouTube. Thanks, crew. All right. First thing is going to be for our first, we got five mini packs of choice. Our first mini pack of choice. We are going to pick that in five, four, Three, two, and one. And first name, that top name that's highlighted, I got Ryan Wargo. Ryan, winner, winner, chicken dinner, buddy. You got yourself a mini pack of choice, Ryan. Congratulations. Ryan is a longtime TRW liver. All right. Next mini pack of choice is... Five, four, three, two, and one. Top name that's highlighted, I got Topeka409. Topeka409, you got yourself a mini pack of choice. Thank you for coming to the live. Just paid off for you too. 
And the next winner for a mini pack of choice, winner number three, is I got Gabriella K. Gabriella K. Mini pack winner number three. Congratulations, Gabriella. And now mini pack winner number four is this person right here. I got Sacktown J. Sacktown J, mini pack winner number four. And now you guys know how we do the fifth one. Here's the deal. So, on the last one here, what's the magic number tonight, guys? You guys know how it works. The magic number for the night is what? If you're new, I'm going to pick the fifth mini pack winner. And then I'm going to count down to the magic. The magic number is 15, says Sharon. So I'm going to, the, the top name that I highlight is going to be the winner for a mini pack of choice. Okay. Number five, <clears throat> 15 names down from that one, 15 names down from that one is going to be the winner for our silhouette cameo for tonight. Okay. Now with the silhouette cameo four, if you are outside of the continental United States, it is required that you pay the shipping for it. If you are within, then it will just ship with your next order that requires shipping. Okay. Everybody got the rules and regulations. Let's do this. So the winner first for our fifth mini pack of choice is going to be this person right here. And that is Dakery Chrissy. I pronounced it wrong, but that is the winner for our mini pack. Now, 15 names from there is the winner for our Silhouette Cameo 4 for tonight on February 10th. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is Jim, 9 is Joanne. 10 is Tan, you. 11 is Debbie, 12 is Kendall, 13 is Sharon, 14 is Drew, 15 is Rose Martin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, Rose Martin, Rose Congratulations, Rose. You are the proud new owner of a Silhouette Cameo 4 from the rhinestoneworld.com, baby. Rose, congratulations. You got yourself a Cameo 4. All right. So, we got all of our winners. Had an awesome night. Had an awesome training. Hopefully the training obviously helped you guys. Hopefully the training helped you guys answer some questions for all of you current wizard owners out there and showed all of you non-wizard owners what the software can do. Now what we need to do is answer some questions. Any questions that you guys have about the software, about the pricing, about the deals, anything. What do you guys got? Because we'll start getting some people drop off now. Now I can kind of focus on some of the questions and answer different questions. Any of you that are looking to get the wizard, like I said, you have multiple financing, interest-free financing options. So you can take advantage of those tonight and tomorrow. <clears throat> the mock-up mini packs are discounted tonight and tomorrow. And then... The biggest deal, like I've been saying, the artwork packs. Yes, I did see her here. Yep, Rose did confirm that she was here, which is a rule when it comes to picking from the comments. Yeah, everybody was commenting, so major lag. Yes, ma major lag. All right, so what do you guys got? What do you guys got? Who is... Or who has any questions about questions about anything that we did tonight? 
Um, what packs did we do tonight? The packs that we did tonight were... I'm in disbelief and so excited. That's awesome, Rose. Thanks for coming. We got our Bella Canvas shirt packs for our mock-ups that will automatically install into your software. And we got your crafting live template pack. Um, will all my existing live templates work with the wizard? Johnny, it really depends on the way that they set it. So chances are pretty good at it. Obviously, all of your artwork will work. The only thing I can't guarantee that will work, Johnny, is the way that they set up their designs. I'm not sure if they set it up the way that our three-color live text part works. But other than that, it's still Corel Draw, and you should be fine. Um, what font did you have in the ball design in the letter? Use as the ball design. The ball design in the letter. Oh, man, I don't even know which one you're talking about. Um, any fonts work? Yes, the fonts will work with the 65% off as well. Yes. Um, would be the best video to watch to learn the wizard from the start. Um, one of the best things to do off the start is learn each of the buttons. Okay. But we, if you go on our YouTube channel and search TRW Design Wizard Overview, that's probably the best thing to get going with. And we have a bunch of recorded webinars that you can just watch that are all free. Um, the baseball bat design, what font? I just used the impact font for that one. But I bought a few mini packs and I can't get them in my queue. Keep saying I need to install the wizard. You shouldn't need to install the wizard, Cheryl. Just give a call in the morning and the call center will log right into your computer and do it for you and show you what's going on. Um, Sean has great videos. Yes, he does. Um, what else we got? <clears throat> what is the magic flock made? Is it similar to felt sheets and the sea of backing? No, the magic flock is actually a flock material that's cut to the perfect flock fiber height to brush in the stones. And then it has a special repositionable adhesive on the back to be able to layer on top of each other, but then a thickness for the stones to be able to fall in just right. Um, can you go over the Wizard and Corel Draw packages again? Yes, I can. Um, man, I need to ask you a couple of detailed questions and the advantage, disadvantage to switch to. Um, Johnny, the biggest advantage or disadvantage, the biggest advantage is with the software you're using, you're always going to run into upgrades and you have to upgrade and you have to upgrade Corel Draw. It's not going to figure out all your pricing stuff. It's not going to do um, your overhead cost. It's not going to do your labor cost. But more importantly is you're not going to get destroyed on upgrade costs. When, and you're never going to be outdated with support. So what happens with that other software a lot is you have to upgrade to keep getting support. You could have the 1.0 of the wizard and we still support it. So we will support any version that you have at any time. Yes, and that's the main reason why we created this software is is because I hated the way different companies did software. And I've owned all the different softwares out there. And there were, there, there aren't, a, nobody even has a fraction of the amount of tutorial videos that we have and the support that we have and live trainings like this to help you when you have questions. So, no matter what software anybody has, it could be a $5,000 software. If you don't know how to use it, it's a useless software. And that's the goal. That's the goal is to help you learn the software. Um, I know, Johnny. Believe me, it happens at every single trade show. I'm sorry. I know. And most of our customers are exactly that, Johnny, that change over. Just because no matter how good a software is, like I said, if you can't 
If you don't know how to use it, it's a pointless and worthless software. And that goes for anything. That goes for embroidery. That goes for everything. Right? And a lot of people here, Johnny, because I'll, I'll never talk bad about any company, okay? But what I always recommend is talk to other people. Like, I can't pay the 400, 500 people that were on here tonight to say good things about our software because I would go out of business if I had to pay everybody to say that the software is good and it's going to help them, right? But you guys are our, our biggest sellers, I guess you could say. You're, you're the reason why we're so successful because you guys have success with the software and tell everybody about it. And that's what I love. Okay, yes, I can show you. Um, do I have a starter pack for rhinestones? Of course I, what's up, Joe? How are you? If you guys haven't seen Joe's channel, Heart and Hustle Printing, go check him out. But if, Joe, of course we have starter kits. Okay, let me run through. I, I saw a few of you. I, thought, I saw a few of you do some different switches or do some different questions as far as the different packages and the deals that are for tonight and let me show you um the bling king i say oh yeah i never use it Where's it there you go the bling king we get 20 of those a trade show all right so check this out first thing i'm going to show you just for the starter kits just for the um i know joe was asking about starter kits so when you're looking for different rhinestones okay and you have all of our different rhinestones here and rhinestone supplies and then under a, equipments and kits this is where you'll see rhinestone and vinyl kits rhinestone kits just vinyl kits crafting kits and so on so that's where you'll find it on the mega menu for equipment and kits now for tonight's specials okay I'll kind of go through them a little bit more detailed now that I can kind of answer some questions as well. So, a lot of people were a little confused about the different, um, the different financing options. So, here's the thing is with the Kalarna financing options, it can, it can decline you, okay? It can decline you. It doesn't necessarily do a credit check if it's under $1,000, but you could get declined. You have to fill it out and everything and enter all the information. With our TRW interest-free financing, okay, or you can do PayPal financing as well. Yes, Joyce, 100%. PayPal financing is interest-free up to six months interest-free, I think. Just make sure you pay it within that six months. Same thing. But our three-month interest-free financing, if you just click on that button, okay, fill out the information, let us know which one you're looking for and which one you want, and then we will call you tomorrow to do it all, okay? So basically, if you want three full artwork packs with this, if you do this financing, a new artwork pack is released each month with each payment. So let's just say you got the wizard with three artwork packs. You would pay two sixty six sixty six tomorrow and you would get the wizard and one of your artwork packs. And then in a month, you would get your second artwork pack. And then in the third month, you would get your third artwork pack. Uh, Patty, yeah, you can give a call to the warehouse tomorrow. Now, same thing here for the wizard and Corel 2018. 273 but you get it all right away okay and it's just three payments of 273 33 if you want like someone just said what if what's the real price of a 50 cent transfer when you add um if you did 100 shirts eddie then you got 25 cents basically per transfer on 100 shirts because it's 25 dollars setup fee so your real cost is 40 cents now if someone just asked, what if I want six artwork packs? You can get this two times, right? And then you would just pay double that each month. 
but you would get two artwork packs, two artwork packs, and two artwork packs. Does that make sense? Now, this is only if you want to do no credit check, no nothing, you're approved. You've got a three-month payment plan that's interest-free. There's no no. Got it? Now, if you just want the deal, okay, the Wizard Corel Draw 2018 deal is going to be $140 off tonight because we're discounting the Wizard. I, I'm sorry, we're discounting the Corel Draw. We never discount the winner, the wiz, the winner. We never discount the Wizard even one penny. So it's $140 off the Corel Draw 2018 side of it. Got it? Just the wizard you can get for $569. And you can do just pay for it. Or you could do interest free through Klarna or the three month interest free. All right. And then next, wizard with this is the one if you're getting started, the one I would probably recommend. If you don't have, Cor or I'm sorry, if you already have Corel Draw, this is the one I would recommend. Okay. Um, give a call tomorrow, Jeff. You may have something just weird going on. Just give a call tomorrow. So, this is, and these two are the best deals right now. Okay. Because with this, if you already have Corel, you get the Wizard and you get three artwork packs of choice. Go on the website right now and you'll see an artwork pack retails at around $300. Even on that $300 or $325 artwork pack, let's say it's $325, if I gave you a 65% coupon code, okay, that pack, a 65% coupon code on a $325 pack would be, let's see, $325. And oh, sorry, not that one. Three twenty-five times point three five would be one hundred and thirteen dollars. With this deal, they're seventy-six dollars a pack. I don't even know what. Does anybody even know what percentage that is? 325 times 0 0.20, 325 times 0 0.25, it's basically 325 times 0 0.23, it's about a 76% discount. It's crazy. 76% discount on the artwork packs with the bundle like that. You do need Corel Draw for the wizard. That is correct, Penny. So the one you would be looking at, Penny, would be either this one or this one if you want the three artwork packs. Um, yeah, Peggy, you can give a call to the call center. Definitely. And they'll probably get you with Bobby. Is it really? Um, I don't know if Kelly's going to be there. I haven't talked to her yet on Atlantic City. Okay, so the best packs. Ooh, that's a good question because I see a lot of you looking and the best packs. I can do that. So let's go to designs and full packs. Um, Superscript font wants to switch the alternate letters for the three color text. Ooh, three color live text is tough. Um, what you want to do with this superscript when it has alternates like that? Man, that's a good one. We're going to have to look into that, Heidi, because I hadn't even thought of that for the, for the live templates or the text effects. I'm going to have to look at that. Thanks for bringing that up. Okay, full artwork packs. Let's look through them with you guys. I'm going to go view all. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably a coding thing we need to do. So, multi-sport live template volume two, volume one. Those are two good ones. 
Um, True Type Font Pack Volume 12, just to let you know, this has some of the newer fonts in it. Our Baby Pack has been a super popular one. I called the call center the other day and they helped so much. Awesome, Joseph. I love to hear that. Baby Pack's been super popular at the shows recently. So is the Events Pack. The Kids Packs are all the birthday shirts. Kids Pack 1 and 2. True Type Font Pack Volume 11. That's for the scripty kind of monogram looking fonts. We got the Dog Pack Animal Peak Pack. That's what I did the decals in in, the, in those videos, those viral videos we did recently. The football font that I used tonight was in this True Type Font Pack Volume 10. This is the one you want for that because this is going to have 23 different unique fonts built into it. And they're all those sports fonts. Okay? But it also has um, music and band as well. So it's not all sports. I would almost call it more high school-y type stuff. Um, no, the 65% off doesn't work on the mock-ups. Because that's part of a software thing, Daniel. So those were just discounted $5 tonight for the deal. Now, Live Templates Volume 3 is the pack that I used to make that design tonight. Probably our most popular Live Template is the Live Templates Volume 3. Um, live Templates Volume 2 is probably the second most popular one. Um, decal fundraising pack is huge for getting your business started because it has the actual forms to do a fundraiser. All right. Um, more font packs, the stick figure pack, monogram pack right there. 150 split image is a really popular one. School live template is for all of your uh, magic cut edition. What that means, Johnny, is it's a lot of the designs are really built around vinyl cutters to make it super simple to weed. So that's what the Magic Cut Edition means. It's for cutting. It's magic for cutting. Um, True Type Font Pack Volume 5, really popular one. The Best Rhinestone Font Pack is True Type Font Pack Volume 1. Okay. And then... The Magic Pattern Pack. Magic Pattern Pack is pretty sweet as well. Just to put all those patterns in your designs. But here's the thing, guys. Just to let you know. You don't have to. Okay, so when you go to one of these products tonight, they're going to be on sale through tomorrow. Okay? The three packs. So, when you go to do this sale right now, I just want to show you guys something because... If you need help picking your packs, we can help you with that. But when you go and you say, I want to get three artwork packs. And you go to purchase it and just say you want to buy it outright right now. You can click here and just say, choose artwork pack later. So maybe you have one that you know that you want, but you're not sure on the other two. Just... Go in there and say no artwork pack or choose artwork pack later. And then maybe you say I really want the 150 split image one. And then you can just purchase it. So the 150 split image one would go to your account. And then sometime this week you can just say hey I'm order number 1234 Johnny Smith. I want these two as my additional packs. Right, And if you choose later and we come out with a pack next week, you could say, hey, I want that pack as my additional pack. So we do everything we possibly can to make it as easy for you guys as possible, but also want to make sure that you're comfortable with it as well. That's the goal, right? We want to make sure you're selecting the right packs because if you get a pack that doesn't help your business and your business doesn't grow, then our business doesn't grow as well. That's the goal is to get you into the right packs, to get you into the right software to grow your business. Because even, I mean, think about it. The designs I was creating tonight, 
imagine the software that you're using right now and how difficult those would have been, right? Even though you may already have a software, the amount of time you will save on doing all of this stuff and figuring out your pricing and figuring out all of this stuff, my goal is just in labor cost, just in your cost, the software will pay for itself in a couple months, not even the money you're going to make. Right? That's the goal. So that's the whole reason why we created the software. You save time, you make more money. All right? What other questions? Yes, I can show you. The, the packs that I was using, you want to see it in the software? Okay. So when you saw those Bella canvas ones, those are, these are the mock-up packs that we just released tonight. Okay, so you can see the BC3001 has 49 different front and back images in it, mock-ups. But here's what's cool about it now. We figured out a way now, we actually updated it with the 5.11 on the wizard. And yes, there is a trial as well. So we actually updated on the 5.11 with the wizard. And now when you purchase, and I'll show you which one it is. When you purchase this mock-up pack on the website, go here and scroll down a little bit. These mock-up packs, when you do the installer for the mock-up pack, it's going to autom you don't have to worry about it anymore. It's going to automatically install it into the wizard. It's going to automatically install it into the wizard and it will be there for you. Um, Tan you, what do you mean on the find text feature? In the wizard? Corel now works with Mac. Um, Beth, as soon as Corel allows us to build our software onto the Mac version, then we will. But right now, the Mac version is kind of a simplified version that doesn't allow macros or add-ons to it yet. Um, the find text feature in the wizard, Tan you, right here. So let's just say I'm going to open up a template here. Um, are any updates? Yes, Johnny. So anytime we do a update and all of you wizard owners can let Johnny know as well, we're at the 5.11 now. We've probably added since the 5.0 came out six or seven new features, new buttons that were all completely free because I said, these are things that are going to help them right now. These are things that are going to help them right now. And I don't want to wait till the 6.0 to get it to them. So I actually just say, Hey, there's a new button in the wizard, go get it. So if it's an update like that, then it's free. Okay. We don't nickel and dime you with that stuff. Now, when it's a full upgrade, like something that took us a year to do over a year now, a full upgrade, the last three upgrades have been $100. And I know upgrades on your software are normally around $399. Right? So, it's super simple. Again, I'm telling you guys, the things I hated about software before, I don't do it. That's the goal. Um, so, Tan you real quick. Just to show you here. So when we have our live template in here, okay, Tanya, I'm just going to hit find text on my live template editor and it's going to pull up all of my text in this design. So if I wanted to change pirates to Seminoles, I just click on it. I type Seminoles and now it just changed to Seminoles. Um, Yes, soon, Todd, soon. Update to the 5.1. Vanessa, just go to your order history and you'll see it in there. And then if you wanted to change multiple ones and there's different things, uh, I can't. 
I see you guys asking for things that are going to be in the 6.0. I can't talk about them because there's a specific place that when I do talk about them or show them, then they try to take them and put them into their software. So I did that a few years ago and that happened. So now once our software is done, then I'll do a release webinar. And that's when I'll show you. But here's the cool thing, guys. The way that I do the software, this is what's so awesome about it. The way that I do the software is nobody is ever going, you can never get screwed with our software. Here's what I mean by that. The software right now, we've never discounted the wizard one penny. The software right now is $569.99. If I came out with, let's say, the 6.0 tomorrow, Let's say it's $669.99. Someone that buys it tomorrow is going to pay $669.99. If you have the 5.0 and you want all of those new features, you pay the $100 difference and you paid $669.99. So I love the way I do that and the way that we set that up because even if you bought the 5, and believe me, the 6.0 isn't coming out tomorrow or if, I'm going to say at least a couple months because I know I keep adding new things to it, but here's the thing is, yeah, you didn't hear tomorrow, but the thing is, is even if that did happen and you bought the five today, people would be like, oh man, I just bought it yesterday. Well, you didn't get all these new features that are in today's. So if you want all these, all you pay is the difference in the price and everybody will always pay the exact same penny for the software. <laughs> All right, what else we got? <clears throat> you heard it, 6.0 tomorrow. <laughs> um, did you remember the ruler in the 6.0? Um, we are working on... Well, what do you mean as far as ruler, Bic? Specify that for me, because we are working on something, but... Oh, and then the other thing... I see that we've already had a few requests for it as well. I just saw somebody else ask. On the main page of the website where it says used equipment. I know, but for measuring, what do you mean measuring bit? Because we have somewhat of a ruler in here now that you can just click on. Um, but let me know as far as what you mean. Used equipment right here, just to let you know the used equipment that we have available. Okay, I see some people have already possibly signed up for it. So it's first come, first serve. And went by the shop and picked up my rhinestones the other day. Sweet, Johnny. All right, Roland GS24. These are the basically the cutters that I've been using in videos. Oh, shoot, flip screen, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. Here we go. So these are the cutters that I've been using in the videos and stuff. So Roland GS24, $520 off plus free shipping. And GraphTech, $595 off plus free shipping. Now again, it's they're used cutters, but You'll get a new cutting strip and a new blade with it. CE Lite, $450, basically half price, and then Silhouette Portraits. Um, so I'm asking a question that pertains to the new software version, Matt. Um, what is it, Rowanna? There's a button that you click on, it'll give you the auto dimensions of your design. Correct. Yeah, and that's what I meant by we do have something. Uh, when will the used phone call, um, used phone calls will start tomorrow at probably, um, I would say just to be safe for West Coast. 11 a.m., which would be 8 a.m. for the West Coast to give you a little bit of time. So probably around 11 a.m. we'll start calling people. Is there a way to determine the font after the text is welded? Like to find a font? Oh, that's tough. 
the fun, and I had a feeling that's what you were talking about, Tanyu, but I don't know if that was you that said that too, but the fine font feature in Corel, it's tough. That would, there's a couple of videos out there. I've never really gotten it to work great. So it's tough. Uh, Matt, please go over the artwork packs you did at Christmas. I got the Wizard and Corel Draw and Use Clone. Uh, Michael, what do you mean go over the artwork packs? What do you mean as far as the ones we did at Christmas? Let me know. Um, I don't think he does. Distance between items or to check the specified size of something. Let me, let me write it down. Let me write it down. Peggy. Um, yes, you do need Corel Draw. Yes. Gave some free packs for using finance I never asked. Oh, Mike, just give a call tomorrow and they can look it up for you. And they'll know. Sorry, I didn't know what you were talking about. Just give a call to the warehouse tomorrow, call center, and um, they'll look up your account and they'll be able to let you know. And then you can just pick whichever ones you're owed. No problem. 5.11 is the most current. That's correct, TJ. Yep. Um, is there a software that we can get to create a catalog of the designs and templates we've loaded onto our computer? Ooh, Becky, I don't know on that. What I'm, what we're trying to do in the six is to simplify that a little bit. That's what's taking a long time right now. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but hopefully we can do that. That's going to make it a little bit easier for you. But Becky, as long as you have them all in the same spot, they are pretty easy to search, especially for the clip art. If you just search baseball or so on. Um, Derek, yeah. Yeah, you can, Derek. Which piece of equipment were you looking at? Yeah, Derek, they open at 9 o'clock, so you can definitely call in and see. The graph tech? Okay, yeah. Matt, can you show doing a Ryan Stud design? It's a, Michael, it's the exact same thing as doing a, in the software, it's the exact same thing. Are you saying to brush in a Ryan Stud design? Oh, that's freaking awesome. DGP, use rewards for the mock-up pack. Mock-up packs and paid nothing. Love the reward points. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, I love doing that too. I like I like it when it benefits value customers like you guys. And when you person stuff, you earn stuff. It's cool. TJ, yes, you can create your own live templates. And that's what I did in the in the one tonight. In the one tonight I created my own live template with the text effects tab. Is there a contrast button? Son, uh, Sonny, what do you mean by contrast button? With an update, will it make all the previous downloads just like the t-shirt pack offered tonight? Um, with an update, will it make all the previous down? So if you're saying different thing like mock-up packs that you had put in before, when you update, they'll still be in there. If that's what you're asking. You got it, TJ. No problem, buddy. Um, to map it out on the wizard, what are the dimensions? Um, it's the same. So SS10 is SS10. So SS10 Rhine studs are the same as SS10 Rhine stones. So you're just going to use whatever size Rhine studs you're using. Uh, there are some videos on the channel on how to do that, yeah.
when trying to do, oh, as long as you have the 5.0, it'll auto download and install it into the mockups. So have the wizard closed and Corel closed, install your mockups. And then when you go to mockups, make sure you have the 5.11 though. Make sure you have the new, newest version of the wizard. Oh, Peggy, I'll have to see on that one. Let me see. Is it only do it if you purchase it? Or, I mean, if you sign, click on to it? Yeah, I'll look into that for you. When you click on it, it'll say that you already own it. I'll have to see if we can do it to where before you even click on it. Did it do it before, Peggy? Where before you even clicked on it? Can you explain how to install the three artwork packs I just bought with the deal tonight? Um, so Joseph, with the three artwork packs, just go to your order history and go to downloads. <laughs> and, sorry, I was laughing at Johnny's thing. Um, and just go to downloads and then click on them to install. But if you have any, any of you that ever have any issues on installing stuff or doing anything, as soon as you see it done once, it'll be super, super simple. But feel free to anytime give a call into the call center. They'll log on to your computer for you and show you how to do it. You didn't have to select it to see. Gotcha. Okay, that's good to know. I'll see if we can see if that's a possibility. I'm actually messaging I'm not playing on my phone. I'm messaging them right now. Hmm. Let's see here. All right, what else we got? Thank you, Daniel. Appreciate it. How do you check your version? Where you'll see your version is right up here at the top. It'll say 5.11 Pro or 5.09 or whatever. <laughs> yes, I agree, Ryan. I agree. Johnny said she downloaded TikTok and she's learning new dance moves. <laughs> rhinestones and rhinestones. Rhinestones are just... Your sparkly, where rhine studs are kind of like a, it's almost like, I call it a painted metal. So it doesn't really sparkle. It just gives kind of a look of, look of a rhinestone, but it's not. Um, let me see here. So, boom. Let's go to here. I'm just dropping this image in here real quick. With that question that Peggy had. All right, got that in, or otherwise I would have forgot. Suzanne, that's what was just asked. So when you click on it, it shows if you purchased it already, so you won't purchase it again. But 3D but not sparkly, that's a good That's a good way to say it. Yeah, Derek. Um, so it'll show, yeah, that's a good way to do it. But it'll show if you've already purchased it. Once you click on it, it just won't show it before you click on it. <laughs> all right gail you have a wonderful night Ooh, we are going to have just to let you guys know on wednesday we're going to release it have any of you or have all how many of you have been around for our um challenges for our when we do the challenge for the sale like we put it on Facebook and when we reach a certain amount of likes, comments, and shares, we get this discount. And then when we reach more, we get this discount and we reach more. And then if we get to the top, we get the highest discount. We are going to be doing that for a Valentine's Day sale.
Yes, we're going to be doing that for a Valentine's Day sale. So the challenge will start on Wednesday. You'll have two days to meet the challenge, and then the sale will start on Friday. Got it? How do you do a mock-up of a wine glass? Um, you just need to make sure that the wine, get a nice looking wine glass somewhere on the internet. Um, it will be for rhinestones as well, the sale. Yep, so stay tuned on that. The wizard is working with Corel Draw X8 now and X7, and I'm pretty sure the 6.0 will work with X8. I can't say 100%, but everything we've done so far will work with X8. That's my goal. I want to save you money. <clears throat> so yes, the Valentine's Day challenge will start. Ooh, by the way, did everybody see my Ask Matt from the other night? The YouTube challenge? Has anybody accepted the YouTube challenge yet? How many of you are doing it? I'm trying to light a little fire under your ass. Didn't see it yet. Didn't see it. Yes, no. Haven't seen it. Didn't see. Oh, let's go. Get on there. Get on the YouTube channel. You're on it right now. Create your YouTube channel. If you post three videos, hold on, Seth just responded. Let me, they were able to see it before when they didn't even click on an item. So as they were browsing. How awesome is the crew? Seth, I didn't expect Seth to answer my question right now. It's 1030 at night and he's trying to help out. Thank you, Free. Appreciate it. Okay, they are saying it is. So you guys are only seeing, help me out here guys, you guys are only seeing if you purchase it, if you click into the item, you don't see it when you're just kind of on the page with other items. Is that correct? Correct, correct. After you click on the item, okay. It's so nice to be able to troubleshoot with 183 of you because you guys give me feedback and if we can fix it, obviously we fix it. So, real quick, if you guys, I just want to see what you guys are saying here. So, if I'm on the page right here, it would it say right here if you purchased it? Like, say you purchased this mock-up pack. Would it say right here? That you already purchased it? Or once you clicked on it. Because uh, I don't think it can do that. But one, it would. If you, okay. No, you have to click first. That's what I thought, right? One, so when you got to this point, it would say that you already purchased it. Correct? Half, you but you always had to click on it. I see everybody saying different stuff and I don't know. Huh. 
Um, once you click, it's always been that way. Is there, it's just not red. Okay, it's, so it's there, it's just not red bold print like it was. So is that the only difference, is it's not bold in showing it? I don't remember now. <laughs> I don't either. You always had to click on it. Okay. So you did always have to click on it. And you do have to be logged in, yes, in order to see it. But it's not red bold. So you want it to be kind of that red bold print so it stands out more. Oh, two websites ago. Okay, yeah, I know we can't do that. But it should be once you click on it, it'll say already purchased. It's always been that way. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll try to make sure that whatever the already purchased thing is, is more bold. Yeah, the old 2016 website, but that website's like literally completely gone. So, do you guys know how much that website cost? And I'm not going to bring back that website just for that one feature. That feature's cool, but as long as you can click into it and see, to have that website per year was over $260,000. And that's not even counting the $100,000 employee you need to run it. Yeah, exactly, WTF. Yeah, so 200, 200 well, $360,000. That isn't happening for, uh, I already purchased this before. <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys. Yeah, it's insane. I, that's why I love Equid so much. <laughs> I'm using 3D Cart now. 3D Cart is, we went from probably around $350,000 a year for website cost down to about, we're probably about $20,000 a year now. <laughs> I'm whining about my $268 a year. Hey, I used to love the Equid days. Oh, no problem, Peggy. Hey, I want... I always want your feedback for stuff like that. Because... The thing is, is... Um, yeah, the problem with that, Eric, we've looked into that too, and we've built a lot of custom code on this site as well, but as soon as they do an update, all the custom code breaks, and it needs to be redone. So we try and do as minimal custom code as possible. But yeah, please, give give feedback, because that's how, if it is stuff that makes your shopping experience easier, it's stuff that we can fix, we want to do it. Oh, and it tells you when you purchased it last. Okay, that's nice. Child theme. We can look into that, Michael. Definitely. Cost of the upgrade. We're still probably going to be right in that $100 range. I don't know exactly, but it's it's going to... I think one time it was $120. One time it was $90. One time it was 100 so it's always kind of right around that range. And I'm sure we're going to be in that range again. All right, crew. Any questions that you guys have tomorrow on... I know a lot of you probably submitted for the used equipment, okay? The cool thing about the used equipment, it was used by me, all right? So it's not going to be all beat up and nasty and not working. And it's going to come with a new cutting strip. It's going to come with a new blade. It's a Graph Tech and it's a Roland. They're a couple years old. And 
it's what's that not when I just paid a hundred bucks hundred bucks what did you pay a hundred bucks for Asia um, and the thing is is they're gonna be what cutters that have been taken care of right so we'll be calling you guys tomorrow and of course I can. You just let me know. I always do on the giveaways. We always we started the tradition of signing the giveaways. So you guys let me know. All right, crew. Appreciate all of you guys. You guys are all amazing. We got 500. We got a cameo giveaway. That was freaking awesome. And everybody, again, that guy right there. Prayers are with Joe's family and Leanne. Way, way too early for a great TRW crew member right here. So, Joe, always at the lives. He was here with us again tonight. I know, Eric. I know. All right, crew. You guys all, and just to let you know, coming up soon, I'll let you know when we do it, but we are going to try to do something with, Joe was a huge, huge zoo fan, and giraffes, and hippopotamus, and rhinos, and so we are going to put together a zoo pack in memory of Joe, and we are going to put that on the website. And every single penny from sales from that pack. Todd reached out and Pilar and Jerry and uh, Richard. And a lot of you have already reached out to try to do something. So we're going to try and do something really cool. We'll get more details when we know what we're doing. But... We are definitely going to, and then to try and help just in any way that we can. So I will let you know when that happens. And don't feel like you need to, but we want to try and do something. So I know all you TRW crew members are awesome. Everybody loves the crew. So see if we can't help out. All right? All right, crew. You guys all have an amazing night. I appreciate you guys coming by. It was an absolute shock. I agree. And I will see you guys. Well, go check out the Ask Matt, right? Go check out the Ask Matt. And someone, let's go on that YouTube challenge. A free $10 to the website. If you create three, three YouTube videos this week and show me. Um, the All-Star the all-star training so i've had a lot of requests lately if sean can do every once in a while an all-star training to get a different perspective and at first i was like what you don't like me but it's actually a pretty good idea because sean is an amazing designer and creates a ton of our templates and everything and, and our designs so sean is actually going to be doing the free all-star training on wednesday this week Okay, so go to the community tab. You'll see it. You'll see the coupon code for it already. And the cool thing about it is I like to design this way. And then Sean likes to design this way. And he'll give you different ways to do stuff as well, which I think is super helpful seeing multiple ways to do things. But this week's training, this week's training is going to be freaking awesome because tell him to turn up the mic. I will is going to be awesome because he's going to be doing creating live templates from scratch. So it should be pretty sweet. We were trying to figure out what would be an awesome one. All right, crew. Appreciate all of you guys. You guys all have an amazing night. Joe, you're the man. And I will see you guys soon. Um, accidentally sent me two 10 gross of SS6 tones I purchased on the BOGO sale. Can they invoice me for them? Um, Bic, you are amazing. You keep them. Happy birthday. If they sent you two extra ones by mistake, for being honest, they're not going to send you an invoice. 
those two 10 gross of SS6 stones are yours because that's awesome of you even to reach out and say that they sent you extra stones by mistake. So happy early birthday or late birthday if it was. <laughs> All right, you guys have an amazing night. We'll see you guys soon. See how good I can get with this. Ready?